Hello, welcome to Curio Tips, bite-sized hacks for everyday life based on scientific evidence. In this episode, we will see how to increase the shelf life of banana, the store-bought banana, that when you buy the banana, of course, if you just keep outside, it will spoil faster, right? So, uh, one of the intuitive solutions that we usually do, attempt at least, you know, we, we do this trial and error, right? We keep it in the fridge and uh, well it doesn't work that way right so if you keep the bananas in fridge what will happen is that you know this peel uh, of the banana it contains an enzyme called a polyphenol oxidase so this enzyme will start degrading the the phenols of this banana peels uh, you know and it, it start oxidizing to make it very dark right so uh, you know it actually spoils faster if you actually keep the banana right from the beginning in the the fridge so by the way, it might look pretty uh, gross, you know, uh, very dark, but it might still be edible, you see. So that is uh, why it's not completely bad solution while keeping in the fridge. But yeah, if you look really how long a banana will last in the fridge, uh, it's not an ideal solution. You know, if you keep it in the fridge, uh, it fast it turns black, but still it's edible. But within one or two days, it becomes, uh, you know, um, slimy and definitely it's completely spoiled you know so that is not a solution so what to do with that how to increase the shelf life of uh, banana so if you uh, if you put this banana in a batch like this uh, you know so what is actually happening is that it releases uh, a gas called ethylene you know so this one is ethylene molecule so this ethylene molecule actually increase the banana to uh, you know it actually increase the you know the, the spoilage the spoiling process of the banana and banana peels of course it starts with the peel uh, but it actually goes inside so because this ethylene is being released there are multiple ways to prevent uh, it's not impo uh, it's not possible to completely prevent it but at least to minimize the efforts uh, effects of this ethylene so first of all first tip is that don't actually put one banana on the top of banana you know so if you actually make a big batch of bananas uh, you know the bunch after bunch then definitely get spoiled faster especially those in inside get spoiled faster tip number two is that uh, you know you always keep it in this kind of basket with lots of air you know air can come inside right rather than putting all together on a uh, on right on the counter so it's always better to have a lot of air so that the ethylene molecule the gas can get out of this uh, bunch of bananas faster and the biggest tip which i learned of late i never knew honestly uh, i learned it very new that instead of keeping all bunch like this you cut it off you know cut off from here and you separate out these bananas and just try to uh, you know place it uh, uh, wide apart so that the gas there are a lot of uh, space for the gas to escape so that uh, the bananas will not actually get spoiled faster another tip which we use in in kerala you know we have lots of bananas over there no banana varieties uh, instead of getting all kind of banana from the same hand so it's better to get some bananas from one bunch of banana you know called hand a uh, few other banana from other so it's it's the idea is that uh, all banana should not be equally uh, you know it, it should not ripen at all together you know so kind of ripened banana you buy unripened also you can buy so by the time you finish your ripened one the unripened would be ready to eat so that is the idea so if you especially if you're buying you know a, a, a bunch of banana so just try it out so instead of simply keeping it like this just cut off here and keep it uh, you know so well some tip says that you can even cover here with the plastic so that you can still minimize uh, the escape of the ethylene i tried it but uh, you know i don't think it's that significant it's just Put this one into a separate, you know, so just, uh, I mean, don't club all together. So just make sure that there is adequate space for the ethylene uh, molecules, ethylene gas to escape. So that alone will uh, ensure, uh, you know, proper, uh, you know, proper uh, adequate shelf life of this uh, banana. So thanks for watching for this episode. And uh, yeah, thank you. Have a nice day.